Hello and welcome to Inside AI. This time around, we're shining a light on the use of artificial intelligence and machine learning in retail. Now, the use of technology in retail isn't a new development. In fact, one of the earliest examples of retail technology dates back to 1879 when the cash register was invented by James Ritty. He owned a saloon and wanted to find a way to stop his employees from pocketing money instead of putting it into the business. It was named the incorruptible cashier and inspired by the revolutions of a ship's propeller. And it's fair to say that retail tech, and in particular the use of AI and machine learning, has developed quite a bit from then. And in this episode, we're going to take a closer look at some of the most popular uses of artificial intelligence technology in the retail sector. We'll be talking to Hemesh Prague from NVIDIA about how retailers can benefit from AI, especially in the wake of the current pandemic. Find out what a frictionless store is, how they work, and the technology involved. We'll take a look at how digital signage is being adapted to cope with the new normal, explore new ways augmented and virtual reality are being used in the retail space, and we'll get a glimpse into what our shopping experience may look like 10 years from now. Now, one of the main areas of AI that Scan are involved in is the use of GPU accelerated computing, which is dramatically growing in popularity due to the large variety of applications in which it could be used, such as artificial intelligence, drones, robots, or autonomous cars. World leaders in AI, and in fact, the inventor of the GPU is the California-based technology giant NVIDIA. Some of the ways that their technology is being used and developed across the globe is fascinating, in particular in retail. This technology is already being used in areas like forecast demand, recommending products and services to users based on analysis of data, as well as what's known as conversational AI, which essentially are intelligent chatbots that can be used to answer customer questions, in turn reducing associated costs with employment and training. Now, put all this together and add in cameras, shelf edge technology, cashless payment systems and anonymous analytics, and you may get something like this. This is what's known as a frictionless store. And to find out more about this new age shopping environment, we thought we'd talk to the experts. So I chatted with Hemesh Prague from NVIDIA. Hemesh, thank you so much for joining us. Um, let's start off by talking about what are the top AI use cases in retail specifically and why are they being used? Absolutely. The, the first um, challenge that retailers have had really during this COVID period has been about deploying solutions very, very quickly. So AI has really helped with the adoption and speed of deployment and adding business value. We see them across three different areas, intelligent stores, supply chain optimization, and across omnichannel. The first one of those, intelligent stores, is really about stock out and click and collect. AI is helping retailers to eliminate stock outs by notifying staff when products at the shelf are out of stock and you're able to ensure that store staff were able to re restock those when they're required. In addition, store staff can deliver the right order to the right car at click and collect. At autonomous shopping or frictionless stores are really about cashierless payment, making it easier for customers to grab and go without standing in a line. And asset protection, it can reduce shrink that retailers are facing one and a half to 2% due to self checkout. Store analytics, allows you to create heat maps to show what is popular in a store, identify demographics of customers, or stock out when shelves are getting empty. Supply chain optimization really is uh, about understanding what retailers need in terms of forecasting, and AI allows you to do daily forecasting across millions of combinations of SKUs. Intelligent warehouses powered by AI expedite distribution center throughout. They improve order accuracy and accelerate order fulfillment. An omni-channel, with the rise of people ordering online in vast quantities, they allow you to personalize and recommend products to your customers. And customers can easily find what they're looking for and get much more relevant recommendations. Okay, really good demonstration there about how AI is being used, I guess, with the focus on being increased in profit and efficiency and the customer experience. I want to talk specifically, though, because we mentioned it in the introduction about frictionless stores. Can you tell us, because that's a term I would imagine a lot of people aren't familiar with, what is a frictionless store? How does it work? Frictionless stores or intelligent grab and go stores, they use data from cameras and sensors to gain visibility into customer behaviours and power faster and sometimes fully automated checkout systems. Why contactless checkout? 
They increase customer safety and they enable faster checkout experience through contactless sales. Let me give you an example of a customer journey. You would enter a store via QR code. You would scan that with your mobile phone. And as soon as you scan the QR code and enter through a turnstile or a door, you can put your phone into your pocket or into a bag. And after that, it's a deviceless journey on your customer shopping experience. You then select the products that you would like, and you could either hold them in your hand or you could place them into a bag as the system would recognize the products that you've taken off of the shelf. And then you can seamlessly, uh, without having to go to a checkout, you can enter the exit turnstile or the exit door. And within a couple of moments, you will receive a receipt with the products that you have purchased. The, the current pandemic is actually accelerating the need to add agility to retailers' businesses. And this sensor data can actually be used to also increase safety. So they could recognize social distancing and they could detect things like elevated body temperatures. And there's many of these proven AI solutions from startups such as iFi, AWM, Trigo, and these can be deployed in weeks or months. Gosh, it certainly sounds incredibly futuristic. Talk to us about some of the specific NVIDIA technologies then that are sort of powering this frictionless store experience. Yes, yeah, so NVIDIA's retail platform enables developers of both software companies and retailers to build more accurate AI applications faster. NVIDIA's retail platform leverages a number of application frameworks for all AI use cases. What we see is the use of Metropolis for video analytics. We see the use of Rapids for data science, which could be used for forecasting. Isaac for robotics to help with click and collect or online order fulfillment. Jarvis for conversational AI, where you could see that in the use of customer service engines and Merlin for recommender systems for all those online customer journeys. So how many of them are in existence at the moment, say in the UK, are there any? In, in the UK, there are a number of pilots and POCs of these stores. One, one of the ones which you may have come across in the news is with Tesco. They're planning to open their first with a company called Trigo, which is an automated checkout system. Amazon Go themselves also announced that 30 stores will be coming to the UK through 2020 and 2021. I do expect that more of these stores will evolve from POC and pilot into production so that we as customers can go and experience these stores. So you mentioned there the likes of Tesco and Amazon, the big boys, so to speak. Is this sort of technology and this experience going to be accessible to smaller, say, independent companies? What we're seeing is intelligent stores and AI-driven forecasting really bringing business value to retailers. And a number of retailers, they do not have the data science resources to build AI solutions from the ground up. And there's many innovative startups that have proven solutions that can be deployed uh, at pace in months. And the business value to retailers can be so significant that the opportunity cost justifies buy versus build model. And also customers are expecting greater convenience and speed while shopping, which is driving new implementations. COVID-19 has accelerated this. I think it will raise um, inevitably quite a, a series of questions, um, not least around the fact that is this likely to replace jobs? The experience that you described there with no cashiers, I would imagine there's some people thinking, oh, here we go. We were told that, you know, robots and AI are going to take our jobs. What would you say about that then? Is that going to be a reality or will it just be that the landscape changes? I would say that AI is about human augmentation and automating mundane tasks like loading or unloading trucks or packing orders. And AI is actually empowering employees to focus on value add tasks, like helping customers in store, restocking shelves, and handling click and collect orders for pickup. And history has shown over time, more jobs are created with every economic shift from the industrial age through to the computer age and to the internet era. And I do believe that AI will augment many jobs and create many new opportunities and they'll ultimately improve the productivity, enhance our quality of life. And for retailers, they, they're going to help with the efficiency and help to also drive revenues. OK, so we will still see human beings working in the shop, though, won't we? For those that may be thinking, but that's the only time I see human beings. That's the only time I have social contact. Maybe, say, older people. They're still going to come into contact with people that work in the shop, are they? but just maybe in different roles. Absolutely. You will find that store colleagues will have new roles. Um, and, and they'll be doing those tasks which are actually adding more value. The AI automation will actually allow 
the store colleagues to interact more so with customers. Um, one of the recent trends we have seen though with COVID-19 has been the need to reduce store colleague and customer interactions, which has created this new use cases. And actually what we will see is a number of these smart checkout vendors continue to grow. Okay, another question that I have that I'm sure lots of people are thinking of is, what about the data that's collected? You talked about scanning a QR code, putting things into a bag, and then you can just leave the exit and you get pinged a receipt and billed automatically. Where does that data go? Are you anonymous or are we going to be tracked everywhere we go? I think that's what people are probably going to want some reassurance about. How does it work? The store will use anonymized data collection. Retailers are cognizant of consumer privacy, and this is nothing new. We've all been part of loyalty cards for a number of years. And all the AI solutions that they are deploying comply with stringent privacy regulations, such as GDPR. In-store analytics with AI is monitoring how many customers are in the store, what are the most crowded aisles, and recommendations for improved merchandising to improve sales. But also, as I mentioned earlier, with regards to social distancing compliance, what about somebody then that wanted to, to remain completely anonymous? I know you've said that they are, but if they wanted to use cash, for example, um, how would that work then? Would you need to have a smartphone, say, for example, or could you, you just walk in, pay cash, as you maybe would do now? Managing and securely handling cash is a significant cost factor for retail businesses. And increasing security with online transactions is, of course, something which customers have adopted. However, if a customer would like to purchase uh, products with cash, that's absolutely uh, within the realm of a frictionless store. Retailers can make the decision to choose a cash-based customer journey. That could quite possibly be a, another turnstile for entrance um, or possibly a door. Um, and also on the exit, the customer would follow the same uh, experience within the store to select their products. They would then... Uh, as part of their exit journey, they would go to a checkout, which would have a pre-populated list of the products that they've selected and the customer can pay via cash. Okay, so some options still available to us. Um, when do you think we can expect to see friction the stores in the UK as the norm? How far away are we, are we from that? I believe they'll be the norm in 10 years from now. We expect frictionless shopping to expand and become part of retail. And frictionless stores are one component of the smart store concept. Research and markets expect the compound annual growth rate through 2027 to be 51.9%, which is a phenomenal growth rate. Um, and this is for technology which typically requires a heavier investment than installing self-checkout lanes. Okay, so definitely something we're going to see in the not too distant future. Thank you very much for shedding some light on that with us today, Hemesh. Thanks for your time. Um, I just want to ask you one question, though. What do you personally think the future of retail will look like, say, 10 years, 20 years from now? You've mentioned the friction of stores, but what will it look like in its entirety? So the future is going to um, be absolutely transformed from a customer journey perspective. You could be getting into your autonomous car or robo taxi and selecting the products at the store once you arrive your shopping journey would be that of an experience you'd be interacting with rich content digital signage the shelf edge and the store assistant or quite possibly a robot helping in store would then bring the products to your car and automatically put those into the boot of your car and you'd continue your journey home but in addition to that you could have begun your shopping journey at home either with a smart speaker uh, and collecting your online uh, orders um, and as part of that journey you could be going uh, through your day-to-day -day life adding your products to to your basket and you may choose that uh, you may not want those delivered to your home and you'd still like to go see those in person and that interaction between the physical and the digital world is going to continue to enrich the shopper journey. It's fair to say that 2020 has been a year that none of us were expecting. We've seen massive changes in our everyday lives and new ways of solving problems and issues, particularly in the retail industry. You'll have probably seen entrance traffic light systems in your local shops, occupancy control screens, as well as alerts and infographics on screens around stores. In our last episode, we looked into how age and gender recognition could trigger selected marketing. And now this technology has been adapted and advanced to suit the current situation. 
Our digital signage team have been working with partners Biablu on solutions that focus on safety and social distancing in retail shops and workspaces. Biablu's interaction care solutions have been developed to reduce risks and communicate safe practices in physical spaces. For instance, their occupancy control uses ceiling-mounted cameras to count how many people enter and exit an area in real time. The number of people in the area can then be displayed on your digital signage to help manage occupancy. So, depending on how many people are inside the space, it informs you whether you can enter or not. You may have seen or heard about temperature checking at workplaces during the pandemic. Biablu's thermal sensing solution uses a specialist camera installed at entrances to check skin temperatures of people in real time as they enter an area. Then an audio and or digital signage alert can be triggered when the sensor detects someone with an above threshold temperature. Or you can customise who receives the alerts, including directly to a device or nearby digital signage. Another interaction care solution is mass detection. In many instances, masks are a mandatory requirement to help prevent the spread of illness. So to detect if these requirements are being followed, you can discreetly mount cameras. Then using AI, the image can determine whether a mask is being worn or not. And again, trigger content on digital signage to remind them masks are a compulsory requirement. The system can also estimate distance between passers-by and activate on-screen alerts to help maintain social distancing. This is done through Biablu's active customer intelligence suite. These technologies can also gather powerful audience analytics at the back end that respect privacy and remain anonymous. The data that can be captured with Biablu's interaction care could give you insights into high contact areas, product hotspots, customer numbers and much more. If you want to find out more about these intelligent solutions, you can contact our digital signage team or take a look at the SCAN website, follow Deep Learning and AI, and then hit Digital Signage and Analytics, and here you'll find plenty of AI-powered solutions for retail and other business settings. Time to look at virtual technologies now on how AI has superpowered their potential in retail. The challenges of 2020 have forced retailers to better understand the importance of their online activities relative to their physical stores as shoppers were no longer able to physically step into stores but still want a familiar shopping experience. A good example of this is the AI-powered app ZKit. This virtual fitting app uses augmented reality along with deep learning algorithms to digitise a 2D image of any garment and break it down into 80,000 individual segments. This map is then layered across the 2D image of a human model. It can, in other words, let customers try on an endless array of 3D virtual clothing without ever leaving the house or without touching a single item of clothing, which could be extremely useful not only in the current situation, but for shoppers who just can't get to the shop during its opening hours. The technology is currently being explored by the likes of ASOS, Adidas and Bloomingdale's as it could potentially help to increase sales, reduce returns or remove friction and indecision from the shopper journey. Capacity is another example of a 3D virtual try-on solution that offers the same benefits. Powered by NVIDIA GPUs, it uses machine learning, AI and 3D technology to detect your body measurements. This information can then be used by retailers to suggest only those items with the right fit. Pretty fascinating, hey? Now, it's certainly interesting to see how virtual technologies have been embraced within the retail space. And there are some truly amazing advances happening in the world of AI technology. And as you've seen, the retail sector is seeing some of the fastest advancements and adoptions of these solutions. So from 1879 in the first cash register to 140 years later, and we're virtually trying on clothes at home, buying groceries at frictionless stores and getting our temperature checked as we walk into work. I can't even begin to imagine what another 141 years will look like, but we could have a guess at how our everyday shopping experience might look in 10 years from now. Well, that's all for this episode. I hope you found it interesting. And if you'd like any more information on how you could use AI technologies for your business, then you should definitely get in touch with our dedicated team here at SCAN, and they'll help you get started on your AI journey. See you next time on Inside AI.